it's uh, Monday morning. The time is 6.02. I just cleared in Langford. It was a $40 fare that I didn't think would be a $40 fare. I got sent on the call at 5.35. Got to the guy's house at 5.44. And he says, I'm going to the Boulder House in Langford. I go, Boulder House, what's that? He says, oh, it's a rock climbing place. Okay, so I took him out there. I did about $360 worth of business, which is great. The only thing is I'm coming back late. Uh, well, the guy who's driving in the morning these days is quite punctual. Um, I'll try to get back in as timely a fashion as possible. But I'm already late, so I'll just tell him, you can keep the car into my shift. I don't care. Yeah, so one nice thing about this particular Sunday night is that there was time to take breaks in between calls. It wasn't quite so hectic and rushing as usual, which I'm thankful for, because I didn't have to kill myself just to do my job this time. Looks like we're even gonna have an interesting sunrise. Too bad I'll be concentrating on something else too much to see it. Four more nights to go this week. Ah, it's the end of my Monday night. I'm heading back into town after going out of town to use a car wash. Uh, it was relatively busy. I had a few long trips. I had some breaks too, which was all right, which was good. I did 375 and I'm not complaining. 375 for a Monday night when we were short staffed. I was a little bit stressed, but not as much as usual. Uh, maybe things are letting up a little bit this week. I don't know. So I just went out of town to use the car wash. Did I mention that already? Now since it is uh, Tuesday morning, I'm going to go to the bank, make a deposit, I'm going to 
clean the interior of the car. I've already done the mats. The, I did them with the pressure washer. I'm going to wipe down the surfaces inside the car. Then I'm going to go fuel up and I'm going to walk home and then I'm going to go to the chiropractor where I have a lower back decompression and a neck decompression. All scheduled for today. Get that little thing taken care of. And uh, yeah, there wasn't anything particularly Three more nights to go this week. It, time is now 3.49 a.m. on Wednesday. It's the uh, Tuesday night. And I was getting a lot of trips, but I was getting a lot of short trips. I haven't counted the money yet. I think I'm in the $300 vicinity, and that includes this trip to the airport. I may be wrong. It could be more. I just haven't counted all the Interact slips and all the cash yet. Uh, and this, uh, this guy paid me in cash. He came from the Accent Inn. He's going home to Calgary after participating in a thing that we have here called the Rib Fest. So he's on his way home. And me, I was sleeping in a parking lot. Since about 11 or midnight, I have been sleeping between fares. because I could. And, yep, I kept watching stuff on my phone and falling asleep. And I might have some more business between now and 6 o'clock. The time is now 3.51. Yeah, I probably have a bit of business in the next couple hours. But if I don't have a lot, I'll be happy to. <sighs> okay, I don't have much else to say. So I'll just get through this roundabout. And, and shut the phone down. Oh shit. The night started busy with one short trip after another. And after about doing five of those short trips, or six of them, 
I dropped a guy off at an apart, uh, condo building downtown and got a call for just around the corner at a income tax preparation place. Okay. And then I looked at the destination. It said the ferries. Oh, great. Anyways, I picked up these two people who went out to the ferries and it was $64 fare. And so I saw that cars were moving off of there. So I thought I'd wait at the ferries. Oh, no, I'm not going there. I don't want to go there. No, I'm not going there. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, it says... Uh, so I waited at the ferries, and all the cars in front of me went away. The time was, I guess... 10 minutes after 8 when I arrived there and dropped my people off. I waited almost three hours to get a fare out at the ferries. And then the guy wasn't even going far. He went into Sydney at a marina. And I didn't know the marinas. Uh, I don't know which is which. And there's a lot of marinas around Sydney. So he pointed me which way to go. And it was a $14 fare and he tipped me 10 bucks because it was a short one. I rushed back to the ferry terminal and by the time I got there, everyone was done. It was cleaned up, there was no, ca no cabs and there was no passengers. So, okay, I made it back into town. At that point, I had $145 on. The time was, oh, just after 11. So I came back down here by 11.30, I was back in town, and I had a trip right away. And I had uh, quite a few trips here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-nine,
and I put the frozen vegetables in a paper plate and I turned the oven on and set the timer for half an hour. That was at four o'clock. I went back to bed to read, which I often do, which I always do actually, while waiting for my oven to heat up. I woke up at six, ostensibly the time when my shift begins. So, it was time to put the meat in the oven for 20 minutes, flipping it after 13 so that I could put the frozen vegetables in the microwave and then everything would come out at the right time or together. I was uh, plating my meal at 25 after 6. Actually, no, at quarter to 7. And I ate till 8.15. No, that's not right. I said that I woke up at... I woke up at 5. That's... Yeah. Five is when I woke up. Uh, so then... It, I put the food in. Oh. Did I wake up at 6.30? Anyway, I woke up late. And the food was ready a quarter after six. That's right. Or I was finished eating at quarter after six. Whatever. I don't remember exactly because I was kind of hazy. Okay. I got to work at quarter to eight. Now it is 5.53. I was busy for some parts of the night. And sometimes quite busy, quite busy before midnight. And the trouble is it was all short trips with long distances in between them short trips with long distances in between them. By midnight I had, oh, just over a hundred on. And then, not much happened. It was quiet. It was dead out. And I even went to sleep. I watched a video and I fell asleep. And then at some point, I guess it was, well, I can tell you right here. At 12.59, I went to sleep. I went to sleep until after 2, and I had a trip at 2.47. Then I was quite busy until 3.53. I think I had four trips between 247 and 353. At 353 I pulled into a parking lot, started watching video again, and fell asleep. At least that part I know because it's, I have it on my clipboard. All right, so then just after five I got sent to a apartment building just on the edge of downtown. And they went to the western communities. They came all the way up to Langford. Two stops out in Langford. And the fare was a great
grand total to 45.70. But I got $34.70 and 20. I got $55 for doing the fair. Some of it was Interact and some of it was cash. Bringing me up to 265 for the whole night, which, considering the way things were going before midnight, is really good. And now my weekend will begin. It's raining. I'm not going to wash the car because it's raining. And my week is at an end. I will enjoy my weekend. Except that this morning, the plumber's supposed to come over and fix my sink so it doesn't leak into the cabinet. I was uh, washing my dishes last weekend, and uh, I pulled the, the strainer up, the, the basket strainer, and immediately got a wet foot. going to replace the basket strainer because it's it's uh, it's leaking it's broken the things about 60 years old oh no I'm sorry I can't do that I cannot take another fare my time is up it's 557 so I will log out there Locked out. I'm no longer on the board. I'm done. Uh, anyway, yeah, plumbing. The flapper in the toilet was both boop tooth. The manager of the building replaced the, the flapper, which is straight instead of warped. The old one was warped, so the toilet was always running. And they tell me that it's been nine years since the, whoa, what's happening with the traffic? It's not going anywhere. Yeah, the old toilet flapper was warped. What is going on? Traffic jam already? Maybe there was an accident. Yeah, they... It's been nine years since the uh, hot water tank in my apartment has been replaced. Nine years. And I said, so? He said, so we replaced them every nine years. And I told him, well, I remember when I lived in this apartment complex before, and that was 15 years ago, and I still had the original water tank from when the place was first built. He says, yeah, we have one of those left. He says, but the new ones don't last as long as those old ones did. So in order to avoid having a flood and having these things break, uh, we, uh, we replace them every nine years. Okay. So today, instead of me being able to get some sleep right away, the plumber's going to be over and replacing my... Uh, hot water tank, and basket strainer at the kitchen sink. Yay. Now what What is going on here? Oh, somebody wiped out. Had it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. A bus flipped over. Did you see that? Holy crap. Holy crap. You seen it here? Hope yours is better than mine.